As you know, this area is a very densely populated area with terrace properties which house large families. So when you have large families, um, clearly the consumption is bigger than a smaller family, say in a suburb. So that would generate quite a lot of um, household waste. Because it's naturally a, an area with a dense population, a lot more needs to be done from the council's point of view and also from the resident population here as well. Ramadan is the ninth month in the lunar calendar and it's the month where Muslims around the world would fast for 30 days from dawn till dusk. It's not only just restraining from food but also doing lots of acts of charity, lots of reading of the holy book, the Quran. It's almost like a detox of the mind and the body so that for the next 11 months you kind of become a better person. The message during Ramadan will reach people in a much more stronger way uh, because people are pretty focused on uh, doing the fast and remembering uh, people who go without food and giving off charity and therefore any messages relating to uh, looking after the environment and being good to the environment and, and creating sustainability in the neighbourhoods will be a, a, the best time to give the message. In the local mosques, the faith leaders give out various messages throughout the week and the, the environment does come into that. Uh, looking after the environment is a key element of belief. So there are messages that do come through uh, various uh, talks uh, and people do listen uh, very carefully to that because obviously they don't want to harm the environment. There are verses that people can uh, relate to in terms of looking after the environment, that you are a custodian of the environment and so that becomes a duty on all Muslims and humans and, and you live in a way that is sustainable and not harmful A to your body and B to your neighborhood and planet. It's a really good idea when they're targeting so many people from different communities or different people from one gathering. Loads of people were there. So for us, for ourselves, it's quite easy. We are targeting those people and given this information, they can take this uh, leaflet to home and tell the other people, their family, their kids, their wives or their sisters or whatever their family is in. They can tell them, this is look what the problem is. This is what the basically the real thing. And if they got any issues, we can sort it out. We take this number, we give them all the proper numbers where they can ring and they ask for the proper recycling thing. We have a problems uh, in this particular area where people don't understand English like the first generation. So we translate different things in different way. So if you can go and look with this particular leaflet, like for the green bin, what's the right thing which goes into your green bin? And then again, it's the thing which translates into Urdu language and it, for English as well. Same with the what type of thing, what type of stuff which doesn't go to your food caddy. And in that way, we use uh, our Asian people who, who specifically shows which exactly goes to your food caddy, which is normally in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Very it's much. a very good source of uh, informa uh, information. Every and each person can understand uh, how can you dispose of your bees and garbage, and it's a it's a very good one. It's Thank a very you. Good. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I definitely believe that 
more and more people are taking an active interest in recycling because you only go have to go around and see how many bottle bins are out, how many paper bags, bags are out uh, to see that maybe from a point of view, may say a few years ago when there wasn't recycling to where we are now, I think there's been a, a, a major shift in thinking in relation to recycling. We have come a long way, but I think there's still a long way to go. Um, and I think everybody uh, in positions of authority and in the community has to play their part to get it to a, a position where you know, uh, the neighbourhood is comfortable and you know, we are living in a sustainable way. Thank you.